It could be another record crop, a bin buster on the way for both corn and soybeans across the Midwest. Crops are looking very good, and all indications are it's going to be an outstanding year for yields. Brian Buer is with the University of Minnesota. I think it's up there in the top you know, 5% at least. You know, when you think nationally in Minnesota, it's going to be an extraordinary year for crops. Um, of course, that has implications for prices. The other thing that's here is, you know, some years we're worried about what happens with, uh, you know, fall frost or something at harvest time. And we're about two weeks or so ahead of maturity. So early maturing crops, uh, you know, good quality right now. So, you know, it looks like we're, we're pretty well getting made here as we're going forward. Buer says the weather has been good and new varieties of corn and soybeans certainly play a role. Well, I think it's a, it's a combination sort of the varieties, you know, if we, if we do have a bit more weather variation, they're standing up better certainly to dry weather conditions and so on and some of the resistance traits that are there. But I think, you know, this year for the most part, we've had timely rains too much, but I mean, you know, the western side a little bit when you get into western Iowa and southwest Minnesota is stressed some and hasn't had quite the moisture in other areas. But these broad thunderstorms have been coming through, you know, much of the Midwest. And so, you know, really quite good, but it's, so it's that combination. Farmers would be happier to see higher prices, but at this point, a good crop certainly is welcome. World demand is the big issue. Uh, we're seeing some softness just overall, you know, the, the overall growth in the economies are affecting some of that. And then we're gonna have these supplies out there. And so, you know, we're, we're seeing you know, lower price we've had in, in six, or, you know, six or seven years now. Um, and that's going to put some stresses, I think, on, on farmers, on, on land valuations. We're seeing a little bit of softness there. Uh, but, you know, if yields are good enough, of course, it's yields and price. So in some areas where they have extraordinary yields, they might be okay on that, you know, lowering that average cost per, per bushel. After last year's record crop, many experts said that probably would not happen again. However, guess what? It is happening. We're seeing outstanding crops all across the Midwest, very good even fields, and by all indications, it could be another record. This is Lynn Kettleson reporting.